Hello, in this video, I'll show you how you can easily use these simple tools to make the colors in your photos pop when it comes to Photoshop. And in case you want to learn how to color grade and get the best out of the colors in Photoshop, this is the best video for you. So simply like the video and don't forget to subscribe. So in order to work on the colors in this very image, we want to point out the colors individually and not simply bumping up the saturation because sometimes the saturation option is not going to be working best for these kinds of images. So when I do this, simply come the background image and make a copy from the background image by simply duplicating it by pressing Ctrl J or you can use Command J on the keyboard. Or you can simply drag and drop on the new layer icon to create another layer from the background. So after creating that layer, make sure to come and make sure that you have converted it into a smart filter because after you have applied the color grading to this very image, we want to be able to change the values later on and have control over those adjustments regarding the color. So just come and right click on the copy layer and simply come to right click on it, come to convert to smart object and you can set it brings this icon for a smart layer. So after doing this, simply come to filter, then we're going to come to the camera row filter. So when you come to camera row, it is going to open up the image in this camera row interface. So within camera row, we just want to work on the colors. Like I said, we are not going to be using the saturation slider. You can see by just moving the saturation slider, these colors may not look cool or good enough. So I'm just going to, I want to recommend that. And we are not going to be using the vibrance, vibrance slider rather. So what you're going to be using is going to be coming to the color mixer. And in color mixer, we have an option that is point color. So just click on point color and you can see under point color we have this kind of color picker or eyedropper tool. So here you can target any single color without simply bumping up the saturation because sometimes as you're trying to color grade the photos, we want to have control over those colors in a given area and we don't want some colors to be overly saturated in the photo. So just come the point color option, click on the pointer or the eyedropper and you click on the color that you want to make or the color that you want to pop in the image. So just click on the yellows for this case and you can see it has sampled the color in that range. So after that you can simply come to the saturation and move up the saturation to your taste or to your liking. And you can see this is only affecting the targeted color. You can see this so you can play around with the luminance and so saturation is the intensity of the color. Luminance is the brightness level of a given color. You can either decide to brighten up the yellows or you can darken the yellows in this case. So I'm just going to slightly brighten up the yellows. So after doing this, you can as well come and you play around with the hue values to your taste or to your liking. But I'm, not, I'm not going to be doing this right now. So you can as well increase on the range. So you can see when you take the range slider down, you can notice that the area affected is going to be less and the wider the range, the more of those colors are going to be affected in the image. So we have just targeted the yellow. So we're going to go to another color, come back to the color picker tool and choose a color. So we just want these blues to pop in the background. So just click on that color that you want to affect and you can come to the saturation and simply increase on the saturation of that given color. I hope you can see the effect. And like I said, you can as well play around with the luminance in case you wish to. So you can as well increase on the range so that more colors within that given range are affected. Then you're going to come and get the color picker tool once again and just sample on the skin tone and you can slightly increase on the colors or the saturation within the skin tone. So just do a little bit of this because sometimes it may as well look overdone. So just going to leave it at around 8 and as well play around with the range so you can see what we have right now. So in order to make the image even better or look better, we can make the colors pop by coming down to our calibration panel and under calibration we have the blue primary. So just click on the saturation option of the blue primary and you can simply drag that forward and you can see that it makes the image pop even more but don't take this all the way up because it is going to look unnatural and a little bit unrealistic. So make sure you take this 
slightly just go easy on this slider and don't overdo this so you can say before after before and after so in case you want to manipulate the colors by playing around with every individual color right now the image is okay you can stop here if at all you wish to but in case you want to make the colors look better we can come back to the color mixer and come and select the mixer option so under mixer we have hue saturation and luminance so in case you would like to reduce on the saturation or the saturation levels of a given color just look for that color under saturation and you can reduce on the saturation or increase on the saturation to make a given color even pop even more to your liking so i'm just going to take this down so this is going to be more of a creative kind of choice as a person for uh, editing or color grading so i'm just going to slightly make the yellows pop and i'll come to my hues remember hue deals with changing a color or altering a given color so i'm just going to come for example the blues and i'll just come to the blues in this case and take the hues towards the aquas to create this kind of teal look but i feel like the blues are a little bit over saturated i'll just come to saturation and simply reduce on the intensity or the saturation of the blows in this case so you can see what we have been able to achieve you can see before after before after so you can just come and click on ok to commit the changes you can say before and after so in case you feel like you're not comfortable with the colors you have been able to apply to the photo simply come and simply double click on the camera option and you can see it brings back the initial adjustments that we made initially to the image so this is the advantage of using smart filters or using a smart object or the advantage of converting the photo into a smart filter before applying any kind of filter to the image so i just come and click ok so we have one drawback you can notice that right here we have this color within the eye and sometimes it may tend to overdo and color grade some areas that we did not want to affect so with this layer mask selected you can simply come and get the brush tool and make sure for the settings you have the soft round brush the mode is set to normal or past at 100 percent flat 100 percent then make sure you have black and white on these two, two color swatches in case you have any color that is not black and white on these two color swatches you can simply press d on the keyboard to reset the colors to black and white you can as well click on these two tiny swatches to reset this to black and white so we want to erase the blue color for example from the eyes make sure that you have this and simply make sure black is on top and with the black brush you can simply erase the color from the eye area to remove color from a given area and by just painting using a black brush black is going to erase or hide the color from a given area so in case you want to remove color for example from up here simply paint using a black brush and that is going to eliminate colors from any given area that you want to color correct in case you have really gone overboard in some areas or in case you wanted to fine tune some areas that you do not want to alter or change colors in the image so this is it for this video i hope you have learned a thing or two from this very simple video ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and i'll see you in yet more vi videos on this channel don't forget to keep practicing and as well keep creating